Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Sybase on Windows. Uh, so you need to uh, log on to the, you need to download Sybase from uh, the Sybase website and uh, and there are some prerequisites for the Sybase uh, for Windows. So you need to install this uh, Microsoft Visual C++ 2.5 server pack one distributable package um, because it uses DS Edit. Otherwise, your DS Edit won't work if you don't install it. And um, we're gonna install this. It's gonna take just a couple of seconds. While this is being installed, I just want to see how many. So we have only one drive here. That's fine. Okay, and the installation is complete. Uh, we're gonna install 2008 Service Pack One redistributable redistributable package. And this should not take long. I have already downloaded Sybase files. Um, installation is complete, so I have already downloaded these files. So I'm gonna run setup console. You can choose uh, setup as well. So now it's gonna uh, start the installation. So I'm just gonna ask a couple of questions and we're installing the ASC server 15.7 gonna click next we already have done this in fact we installed 2008 not 2010 uh, we want to install it in the e drive c drive i'm gonna just uh, select the default location so I also, if you go to custom, you can choose what do you want to install. So I'm going to install management user interface. I'm going to install uh, Wally DB driver. And I guess we are good to go. Uh, yeah, I'll just this install just in case. Uh, and I'll install a licensed copy. I'm gonna select my location, uh, which is United States of America. Um, I'm gonna accept the license and click the next, click on next. I'm gonna continue installation without a license key. And click next and uh, install the developer edition or uh, yeah, I'm not installed developer edition I'm not I do not need to set up the email alerts at this time so I'm gonna click next so it's gonna show me the configuration and I'm gonna hit install and it's gonna install now it's gonna take a couple of um, minutes uh, in fact, more than a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna just pause the this video and uh, I'll start the video when uh, it asks for the prompt to save the time and space. So see you soon.